Your kids are here going, what are they talking about, Dad? I got the, uh, I got the dreaded, my grandma loves your music the other day. Oh, no! It's not funny. No, no, that was on my way to the reading glasses. Get out of my yard! Don't touch me! With your new fangly, big, bright, shiny sex or whatever. Go ahead and say something, my dear. Sing a song for you. <laughs> Bill's gonna teach you a thing or two. <laughs> it's fun hanging out, being all gang, learning from each other. Why we do our thing? Really, so all of that, and that's all you're gonna give me? That is Damn it. I took all the gigs nobody wanted because I couldn't believe I could play guitar and get paid for it. And, uh, and I had this, God, it was an awful gig at this place called Sneakers. And it sounded like a nice place, but it wasn't. It was scary. And, uh, and all, every time I played there, there was one dude that would show up to listen to me play. This guy named L.G. Stover. And L.G., it was like, I have a fan. <laughs> L.G. cooked barbecue out on Highway 278, he had one of those big uh, barbecue trailers in a pickup truck and he'd just sell barbecue out there and it was so good that when President Clinton came to the island, he would send for LG <laughs> and it was this beautiful moment where LG's old pickup truck and his barbecue trailer is flanked by Secret Service vehicles. <laughs> and they're driving him into the rich neighborhoods, you know. <laughs> Well, LG and I got to be friends because he was my only fan, and uh, 
about halfway through the summer, he invited me over to his house. And I was like, I can't wait to see where LG lives. And I get to his house, and it's this beautiful place overlooking a marsh. And in the garage is a perfectly restored 1965 Mercedes convertible. And I'm walking around his house, and I was like, LG, barbecue's been good to you, man. <laughs> <laughs> and he goes, no, 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 boy. Barbecue. Barbecue's just a hobby. And then he showed me his platinum records. Uh. And it turned out, L LG, I get choked up about LG. LG was one of the songwriters on Marvin Gaye's What's Going On Now. Uh. Yeah. Yeah. Barbecue's just a hobby. <laughs> And our relationship really changed that day. <laughs> and LG became kind of a coach to me. And I used to go over to his house and, on Saturday mornings and play him whatever song I was working on. And he'd go, no, 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 boy, I don't believe you. I hear what you're saying, but I don't believe you. You gotta want it! You gotta want it! And his wife would yell down from upstairs, LG, leave that little white boy alone! <laughs> oh, that's awesome. <laughs> I'm sorry to tell y'all, but uh, last year God decided he needed better barbecue. Oh. And he called LG home, I know. But LG's up there having the best time. Oh. No Hendrix played again. <laughs> Everybody thinks we're wrong 